And after seven months of hurtling through space, NASA's state-of-the-art rover has finally landed on the surface of Mars after a 300 million mile trip. The American Space Agency has successfully landed its Perseverance rover in a deep crater near the planet's equator called Jezero. Scientists at NASA's Mission Control in California erupted with joy when the confirmation of a touchdown came through. The excitement was evident after the rover safely landed on the surface of Mars at 8.55 p.m. GMT. The applause continued at the mission control after the rover sent two images of Mars. Continuing to transmit Landing on Mars is hard. Landing on any planet is hard. Uh, now that we've done it again, uh, it, it's, it, we might get to the point where we think it's routine, but it's not. It's a very difficult process. Um, and now we get to, go to, get to go to work. The science team gets to go to work. Uh, the engineering team gets to drive the rover across Mars and see, really see what we can do with it. Uh, this is the most complex thing we've ever landed, uh, and it's just going to be a lot of fun then over the next few years. Soon after the landing, the rover joined Twitter and made the announcement of reaching Mars with its first tweet. The account tweeted the first picture of, the Ma of planet Mars and it said, Hello world, my first look at my forever home. The six-wheeled rover will now spend at least two years drilling into the rocks, looking for evidence of past life. And this is the first NASA mission to hunt directly for such evidence since the Viking missions in the 1970s. The rover has landed on 45-kilometer wide Jezero crater. NASA chose the crater as it includes multiple rock types that have the potential to preserve any evidence of life in the past on planet Mars. Mars 2020 is by far the most advanced mission to the Red Planet. It was launched in July last year using a special launch window that helped conserve fuel. Perseverance is the fifth rover on Mars and by far the most advanced. It is almost the size of a golf cart and fitted with dozens of cameras, microphones, drills and lasers. Soon after the landing, NASA's new chief said that he hopes to send astronauts to Mars by mid to end of 2030s. Maybe in, you know, by the end of the mid to, by the mid to end of the 2030s, we can start pushing out of the Earth Moon system and uh, land astronauts on Mars. U.S. President Joe Biden also hailed the historic landing. He congratulated NASA and said that the event has proved once again that with the power of science and American ingenuity, nothing is beyond the realm of possibility. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.